Good morning from Montrose Old and St Andrew's Church and welcome to our short thought for the day. Humility isn't usually our strongest suit. As children, we were probably taught not to think too highly of ourselves, not to look down on others, but to play nicely and treat everyone well. The trouble is that as we grow up, we discover that not everyone does that. They often push themselves to the fore, try to make a name for themselves, get on in life, and often that comes at the expense of others. It's difficult to avoid getting sucked into that way of thinking. We may not think of ourselves as the greatest, but almost certainly, at the back of our minds, even if we don't say it out loud, we will consider ourselves to be better than others. In our mental pecking order, we won't be at the very top, but you can be sure that we won't think of ourselves as being at the bottom either. Whatever that thinking, whether that thinking has any connection with reality or is simply a figment of our imagination, matters very little when it comes to God, for none of us deserves God's favour, but he loves us all anyway in Jesus. There is no point in us creating artificial pecking orders or acting as though we are superior to or more deserving than others. And especially when it comes to prayer and approaching God, our only starting point has to be humility. A recognition that in and of ourselves we've nothing going for us when compared to the holiness and absolute love of God. Jesus told a parable about two men who went to the temple to pray. One was a Pharisee, a pillar of the community, a well-respected religious leader. He prayed, I thank you, God, that I am not greedy, dishonest or an adulterer like everyone else. I thank you that I am not like that tax collector over there. I fast two days a week and I give you a tenth of all my income laying it on a bit thick. The other man, a tax collector, regarded as an out-and-out -out sinner by the religious leadership and by most of the population as a traitor and a thief because of his collaboration with the Roman occupying forces and therefore an outcast. He stood at a distance and would not even raise his face to heaven but beat on his breast and said, God, have pity on me, a sinner. To the amazement of everyone, Jesus said, I tell you the tax collector and not the Pharisee was right with God when he went home. For all who make themselves great will be humbled, and all who humble themselves will be made great. Prayer is open to all of us, and we probably ought to pray more than we do. But it is important that we don't think of ourselves more highly than we should, but pray and act towards God and others with humility. Someone once said, you should never look down on anyone unless you're bending to help them up. Humility and prayer go together. Lord, give us the grace not to think of ourselves as more deserving than others but to humble ourselves as you humbled yourself and lift us up in your good time. Thanks for joining us. May the Lord bless you. Amen.